Hi everyone, Max here, and I'm back in Bangkok at the Dream Hotel because tomorrow I'm leaving for Bali. And I wanted to make this video for you because I learned something very funny uh, over the last few days. Now, I don't know if you know this, but in uh, Bangkok, and maybe most of Thailand, um, prostitution is like everywhere. I mean, you, you can't walk down the street without some Thai girl you know, running up to you saying, Massage? Massage? <laughs> and it, it was happening so much that it got me thinking about the business. Now, I'm going to make this video for you, but I want to preface it with a few things. Um, you're going to have to stretch your mind a little bit because I know that you're not in the business of prostitution, or maybe you are, but probably not. <laughs> And so you want to look at the knowledge and the wisdom, not the surface level of what I'm talking about. Because I actually learned some really valuable things from these women. Um, the first is that they know exactly who they're going after. And that is rich white men. <laughs> because I sat there watching on this one corner where there was a whole slew of them. And you could see them like wait for the men, the white men who were dressed in the nicest clothes for them to like attack. So lesson number one from the Thai prostitutes. Know exactly who you're going after that can pay you well. The second thing that I learned is that they use really seductive <laughs> language. Now, they don't say, do you want sex? They say, do you want a massage? Because I'm sure that they know, if they were to go up to everybody and say, do you want sex, most, especially white men, would be a little bit freaked out by that because they wouldn't want to seem like they were doing something bad. But when you go up to somebody and you say, do you want a massage, and they give you that little wink, it, you're a lot more likely to say yes to it. So, lesson number two from the Thai prostitutes. Use language that resonates with the people that you are speaking to. Um, the, three, the third thing that I learned is that those women who really were bold, they would like stand in oncoming traffic and talk to everybody that they could, I watched them get a lot more business than the ones who didn't. So it was learning lesson number three. The more willing you are to put yourself out there and to kind of, you know, share with everyone that you think is your perfect tribe member, what you do, you're more likely to get the business. And then the fourth thing is that uh, you couldn't help but smile back at these women because they were so sweet and so charming and so just like friendly. And it did make you want to go home with one of them, being honest, because they were so like welcoming and warm and friendly. And so lesson number four the more you can get into that space of just being so sweet and open and friendly in your business, the more likely people are to say yes to you. Because ultimately, even though your service or your knowledge is good, what they're really wanting is you. So those are the four, <laughs> the four things that I learned from Thai prostitutes while I was here in Thailand. If you don't forward this video to a friend, I have no idea what to do that will make you do this. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment below about something that you thought was interesting or fun or funny or uh, something. So I hope all is well back on the home front. I'm off to Bali. Uh, I've got more goodness to come soon. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Much love. Oh, and by the way, I didn't do business with the Thai prostitutes. <laughs>